Simon & Schuster, Inc., a subsidiary of CBS Corporation, is an American publishing company founded in New York City in 1924 by Richard Simon and Max Schuster. As of 2016, Simon & Schuster was publishing 2,000 titles annually under 35 different imprints. History Topic: Early Years. In 1924, Richard Simon's aunt, a crossword puzzle enthusiast, asked whether there was a book of New York World crossword puzzles, which were very popular at the time. After discovering that none had been published, Simon and Max Schuster decided to launch a company to exploit the opportunity. At the time, Simon was a piano salesman and Schuster was editor of an automotive trade magazine. They pooled $8,000, equivalent to $117,000 today, to start a company that published crossword puzzles. The new publishing house used FAD publishing to publish books that exploited current fads and trends. Simon called this planned publishing. Instead of signing authors with a planned manuscript, they came up with their own ideas, and then hired writers to carry them out. In the 1930s, the publisher moved to what has been referred to as Publishers Row on Park Avenue in Manhattan, New York. Topic expansion In 1939, Simon and Schuster financially backed Robert Fair de Graaf to found Pocket Books, America's first paperback publisher. In 1942, Simon and & Schuster and & Western Printing launched the Little Golden Books series in cooperation with the Artists and Writers Guild. In 1944, Marshall Field III, owner of the Chicago Sun, purchased Simon & Schuster & Pocket Books. The company was sold back to Simon and Schuster following his death. In the 1950s and 1960s, many publishers, including Simon and Schuster, turned toward educational publishing due to the baby boom market. Pocket Books focused on paperbacks for the educational market instead of textbooks and started the Washington Square Press imprint in 1959. By 1964 it had published over 200 titles and was expected to put out another 400 by the end of that year. Books published under the imprint included classic reprints such as Lorna Doon, Ivanhoe, Tom Sawyer, Huckleberry Finn, and Robinson Crusoe. In 1966, Max Schuster retired and sold his half of Simon & Schuster to Leon Shimkin. Shimkin then merged Simon & Schuster with Pocket Books under the name of Simon & Schuster. In 1968, Editor-in-Chief Robert Gottlieb, who worked at Simon & Schuster since 1955 and edited several bestsellers including Joseph Heller's Catch-22, left abruptly to work at competitor Knopf, taking other influential S&S employees, Nina Bourne, and Tony Schulte. In 1979, Richard Snyder was named CEO of the company. Over the next several years he would help grow the company substantially. 1980s After the 1983 death of Charles Bloodorn, head of Gulf Plus Western who acquired Simon in Schuster in 1976, the company made the decision to diversify. Bloodorn's successor Martin Davis told the New York Times, society was undergoing dramatic changes, so that there was a greater need for textbooks, maps and educational information. We saw the opportunity to diversify into those areas, which are more stable and more profitable than trade publishing. In 1984, Simon and Schuster with CEO Richard E. Snyder acquired Esquire Corporation, buying everything but the magazine for $180 million. Prentice Hall was brought into the company fold in 1985 for over $700 million and was viewed by some executives to be a catalyst for change for the company as a whole. This acquisition was followed by Silver Birdit in 1986, Mapmaker Gusha in 1987 and Charles E. Simon in 1988. 
Part of the acquisition included educational publisher Allen & Bacon which, according to then editor and chief Michael Corder, became the nucleus of S&S's educational and informational business. Three California educational companies were also purchased between 1988 and 1990, Quercus, Fearon Education and Janus Book Publishers. In all, Simon & Schuster spent more than $1 billion in acquisitions between 1983 and 1991. In the 1980s, Snyder also made an unsuccessful bid toward video publishing which was believed to have led to the company's success in the audio book business. Snyder was dismayed to realize that Simon & Schuster did not own the video rights to Jane Fonda's workout book, a huge bestseller at the time, and that the video company producing the VHS was making more money on the video. This prompted Snyder to ask editors to obtain video rights for every new book. Agents were often reluctant to give these up, which meant the S&S video division never took off. According to Corder, the audio rights expanded into the audio division, which by the 1990s would be a major business for Simon and Schuster. In 1989, Gulf and Western Inc., owner of Simon and Schuster, changed its name to Paramount Communications Inc. Topic 1990s Indiana 1990. The New York Times described Simon and Schuster as the largest book publisher in the United States, with sales of 1.3 billion dollars the previous year. That same year, Simon and Schuster acquired the children's publisher Green Tiger Press. In 1994, Snyder was suddenly fired from S and S and was replaced by the company's president and chief operating officer Jonathan Newcomb. That year, Paramount was sold to Viacom. In 1998, Viacom sold Simon & Schuster's educational operations, including Prentice Hall and Macmillan, to Pearson plc, the global publisher and then owner of Penguin and the Financial Times. The professional and reference operations were sold to Hicks News Tate and First. 2000s In 2002, Simon & Schuster acquired its Canadian distributor Distokan. Simon & Schuster began publishing in Canada in 2013. At the end of 2005, Viacom split into two companies, CBS Corporation which inherited s and and the other retaining the Viacom name. Also in 2005, Simon & Schuster acquired Strabore Books International, which was founded in 1999 by author Christina Laferne Roberts, who has written under the pseudonym Zane. A year later, in 2006, Simon & Schuster launched the conservative imprint Threshold Editions. In 2009, Simon & Schuster signed a multi-book and co-publishing deal with Glenn Beck which fell over many of their imprints and included adult non-fiction, fiction, children and YA literature as well as e-book and audiobook originals. As part of CBS, Simon & Schuster has been the primary publisher for books related to various media franchises owned by and or aired on CBS such as CSI. The company has also held a license to publish books in the Star Trek franchise under Pocket Books. 2010s In 2011, Simon & Schuster signed a number of co-publishing deals. Glenn Beck signed a new co-publishing deal with Simon & Schuster for his own imprint, Mercury Inc. Under Atria, Simon & Schuster also launched a publishing venture with Cash Money Records called Cash Money Content. In April 2012, the United States Department of Justice filed United States v. Apple Inc., naming Apple, Simon & Schuster, and four other major publishers as defendants. The suit alleged that they conspired to fix prices for e-books, and weaken Amazon.com's position in the market. In violation of antitrust law, Simon & Schuster reorganized all of their imprints under four main groups in 2012. The four groups included the Atria Publishing Group, the Scribner Publishing Group, the Simon & Schuster Publishing Group and the Gallery Publishing Group. 
According to CEO Reedy, the divisions were created to align imprints that complement one another and that the structure would lead to a sharper editorial focus for our imprints even as it takes consideration of the natural affinities among them. In 2012, Simon & Schuster launched a self-publishing arm of the company, Archway Publishing. Simon & Schuster signed a co-publishing agreement with former New York Yankees shortstop, Derek Jeter, to launch Jeter Publishing. Any adult titles would be published in the Gallery Books imprint, and any children's titles would be published at Little Simon, Paula Wiseman Books and Simon Spotlight. In December 2013, a federal judge approved a settlement of the antitrust claims, in which Simon and & Schuster and the other publishers paid into a fund that provided credits to customers who had overpaid for books due to the price fixing. In 2014, Simon & Schuster signed a partnership deal with Amazon over eBooks and also launched a new speculative fiction imprint. In October 2014, Simon & Schuster signed a multi-year partnership deal with Amazon.com in negotiations concerning the price of e-books. Simon & Schuster also launched a new science fiction imprint called Simon 451 that would publish titles across science fiction and fantasy with an emphasis on e-books and online communities. The name of the imprint was inspired by Ray Bradbury's book Fahrenheit 451 The Temperature at Which Books Burn. Bradbury's classic is also published by Simon & Schuster. Simon & Schuster expanded beyond book publishing in 2015 by offering a new business model and additional services for authors. In 2015, Simon & Schuster announced the creation of a new publishing unit and imprint called North Star Way. The imprint would publish non-fiction titles such as self-improvement, inspirational and mind-body-spirit titles. In addition, the group would also serve as a platform and set of services for authors that go beyond what a traditional book publisher offers to find their audience. The services include helping authors expand their reach through online courses, seminars, workshops, mobile applications, video and audiobooks, sponsorships and business partnerships and podcasts. North Star Way sits within the Gallery Publishing Group division. According to Michelle Martin, publisher and founder, the name North Star reflects their mission, to publish books that will help readers find the path to a better life, and to be a guide for our authors, not only through publication of their books but also in the many other activities that can help their message find the widest possible audience. In an interview with Kirkus Reviews, Michelle Martin expanded that North Star Way, aims to meet consumers where they are, in whatever form of media they consume. We expand the ideas in the books into a variety of platforms. Quote, the name prompted Marvel Comics to attempt to register the name of their superhero Northstar in February 2015. The application was denied as Simon & Schuster had already made a trademark application for North Star Way in January. Simon & Schuster launched Simonsies.com a portal for online video courses in 2016, along with Scout Press, a new literary fiction imprint under Gallery Books Group. They also launched North Star Way, a platform-based program to provide authors with services beyond publishing including brand management, online courses, sponsorship and business partnerships. Also as of 2016, Simon & Schuster had more than 18 k e-books available for sale and signed a deal to distribute Start Publishing LLC, a catalog of 7,000 e-book titles. Topic: Notable people. Topic: Notable editors and publishers. Clifton Fadiman Jr., editor in chief. Jack Goodman, editor in chief. Jerome Wideman, editor in chief. Joe Barnes, editor in chief. Justin Kaplan, Max Schuster, editor in chief, Michael Corder, editor in chief, Quincy Howe, editor in chief, Robert Gottlieb, 
Peter Schwed Wallace Brockway editor in chief William Cole Topic Notable authors Simon & Schuster has published thousands of books from thousands of authors. This list represents some of the more notable authors those who are culturally significant or have had several bestsellers. For a more extensive list see List of Simon & Schuster authors. Topic logo According to one source, the SOA, the logo of Simon & Schuster, was inspired by the 1850 Jean-Francois Millet painting of the same name. According to Michael Corder, the colophon is a small reproduction of the SOA by Sir John Everett Millet. Topic: <laughs> Imprints. Viz Media. Topic: Adult Publishing. Adams Media, located in Avon, Massachusetts. Atria Publishing Group, 37 Inc., publisher of African American and other diverse voices. Atria Books, general publisher. Atria Español, publisher of Spanish language books with a focus on United States Spanish speakers. Atria Unbound, general publisher of ebook editions of Atria Beyond Words Publishing, co venture with Atria, specializing in the mind body spirit category. Cash Money content, a co-venture with Cash Money Records Emily Besseler Books, publisher of fiction and non-fiction Enliven Books, publisher of spiritual and wellness books Howard Books, publisher of Christian Books Keywords Press, publisher of books by Internet Personalities Marble Arch Press, co-publishing agreement with the United Kingdom publisher Short Books Strabor Books International, publisher of African American Books as well as Black Erotica Washington Square Press, paperback publisher of Classic and Contemporary Fiction Gallery Books Group Gallery Books, General Interest Publisher Karen Hunter Publishing, General Interest Imprint founded by journalist Karen Hunter Mercury Inc., co-publishing deal with Glenn Beck and Mercury Radio Arts MTV Books, Young Adult and Pop Culture Imprint North Star Way Books, Inspirational Nonfiction Imprint with additional services for authors Pocket Books, Mass Market Imprint of the Gallery Publishing Group Pocket Star, eBook Only imprint of the Gallery Publishing Group Scout Press, publisher of literary fiction Threshold Editions, conservative imprint Scribner Scribner, publisher of fiction and nonfiction books Touchstone, publisher of fiction and nonfiction books Simon & Schuster the flagship imprint Folger Shakespeare Library, publishes print and e-books of Shakespeare works Simon 451, publisher of speculative fiction and fantasy Saga Press specializes in science fiction and fantasy. Topic: Children's Publishing. Aladdin, publisher of picture and chapter books for middle grade readers. Athenium, publisher of literary middle grade, teen and picture books. Beach Lane Books, publisher of picture books. Little Simon, publisher of children's books. Margaret K. McKeldery Books, boutique imprint publisher of literary fiction and non-fiction for children and teens Paula Wiseman Books, publisher of picture books, novelty books and novels for children Simon & Schuster Books for young readers, flagship imprint of Simon & Schuster's children's division Simon Pulse, publisher of teen books Simon Spotlight, publisher focused on licensed properties for children. Topic audio Pimsleur language programs, language courses Simon & Schuster Audio, audio division of Simon & Schuster Topic. Former imprints Bookthrift inexpensive reprints, discontinued Earthlight UK science fiction imprint, discontinued Downtown Press Women's Fiction Discontinued Fireside Books Free Press Green Tiger Press Half Moon Books Inner Sanctum Mysteries Linden Press Long Shadow Books Minstrel Books Children's Imprint Poseidon Press Operated 1982 to 1993 Richard Gallen Books Sonnet Books 
Summit Books, run by James H. Silberman, operated 1976 to 1991. Wallaby Books. Topic. See also. The other U.S. Big Five book publishers: Hachette, Holtzbrink, Macmillan, HarperCollins, and Penguin Random House. List of largest UK book publishers. Media of New York City Books in the United States <laughs>